we assess the dogs, their respiratory noise and, and their uh, inspiratory effort, whether or not they have respiratory distress, so dyspnea, whether or not they've collapsed, whether or not they have concurrent symptoms such as regurgitation. So we assess those factors before, during and after a three minute trot. The dogs are trotted and in doing so that converts the dogs from closed mouth breathing to open mouth breathing and hence improved the evaluation and the accuracy of the assessment. And so typically on a day we'll assess anywhere, well the early days it was 20 dogs, now we tend to do between 30 and 40 dogs in a day. We've extended that assessment process beyond just the French Bulldog and the British Bulldog and the Pug, but now to Athen Pincers, Griffins, essentially any brachycephalic breed that wants to be assessed. So if they evaluate, have their dogs evaluated using the respiratory functional grade, that means that that breeder can select dogs with good respiratory function, so uh, absent or less severe brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome. And what we hope is that by doing so over the future generations of dogs, that there, there will be less and less dogs that suffer from brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome. What's really nice is breeders are saying to me that potential puppy owners who are buying these puppies are asking whether or not they're involved in the scheme. So the public are increasingly aware that the scheme's available. Upper airway obstruction in brachycephalic breeds is recognised as the biggest welfare concern that the veterinary industry has had ever. We can't ignore it. We have to do something. My dream is to eradicate brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome from these breeds. That, that's, a, that's a very big dream, I guess, and that's probably the most important part of everything we are doing with RFG we are trying to improve welfare of dogs through the individual dog and treating the individual dog, but also through trying to improve future populations and reduce the disease.